So I know you love history. So I thought I would ask this question. If you were to produce, or if you have had to produce a movie based on the maritime or shipping industry, what's the opening scene and what's the movie about? Wow, that's a that's a really good one. You know, I, I actually think one one of the problems in the industry is it doesn't get the, the the public attention that it does. The only time it ever gets attention is disasters. You know, it's 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 the disaster movie. It's 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 Captain Phillips getting grabbed by Somali pirates. It's you know, it's all these different elements. And I think one of the things that we're missing here is is how good media can be for. Uh, an industry. I would argue that in the 1970s, 80s, the love boat did more for the cruise ship industry than anything else in, in many ways. So if I think if you're, you're going to make a movie and you want to talk about it, I think one of the things that I would really focus on, because again, you got to get a good story, is a story of World War II, is, is maybe of, of a, a typical ship that sailed the ocean and 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 covered it, you know, and, and you know, the, the focus always tends to be these big convoy battles, but that's not the the truth. You know, I think the story, you know, to use, you know, the example of the Norwegian merchant marine and the fact how they fought throughout World War II, you know, and, you know, even when their nation was occupied, they were, they were a bedrock force that was used. Maersk lines, you know, fled from Denmark and operated under the U.S., for a long time, you know, and I think it's, it's more than the Greyhound story that Tom Hanks did with one convoy battle, but that, you know, the fact that a lot of those mariners, especially those mariners who were displaced from home, they lived on the ships. There was no getting off. They were on the ships for, you know, until the war was won in many cases. And I think that story would be a, a really interesting one beyond just because it has adventure, it has excitement in it, but at the same time too, it conveys that important link in the success of World War II that was borne by all the merchant marines that fought uh, against uh, the Axis powers in World War II. So, I mean, that, that would be the story I would tend to look at. I would definitely watch that movie. I just thought <laughs> another example is that if you, if you think about people who are sort of undervalued or their story aren't that much known, I also thought about the, uh, the guy who basically invented the box. There's a great book written about the box, right? But that's also a story. How many people know that story? And, you know, the impact that had actually figuring out, okay, let's change the whole system into one container box. Well, Malcolm McLean is a great one. I mean, I live in North Carolina, just 50 miles from where he grew up. I mean, where he was born in Maxton, uh, North Carolina. And, you know, I, what I always love about that story is he wasn't a shipping guy. He was a truck driver, you know, and, and to me, that's the utilitarian aspect. You know, he came up with a problem is like, OK, I, I, I'm not in the ships. I'm in the moving cargo. Let me figure out the best way to move cargo and let me do it. And that's, you know, in the United States where we've seen the decline of our merchant marine, I always make the argument that the, 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 the guy like Malcolm McLean, you got to think Malcolm McLean, when he creates the, the, the container ship, he, his ship, his name is the SS Ideal X. And the Ideal X changes the shipping industry. I always equate him to Elon Musk and SpaceX. How does McLean get you to Musk? How does Ideal X get you to SpaceX? What's that innovation? Now, is SpaceX going to revolutionize shipping in the next, you know, space shipping in the next 20 years? Probably not, because it took a while for McLean to get container. Containerization wasn't the success everybody think it is. It took a long time. There was a big infrastructure. You had to buy a lot of boxes, all that ports, all those cranes. It took a lot. And I keep wondering today with our supply chain issues, is there a truck driver right now waiting in a line somewhere who has the idea of, you know, I could do this better. I know the next step how to make this a better idea, you know, and there's no telling because that's what generated it for McLean. He had to wait in a line in Red Hook, New York in 1937, offloading cotton bales. And he said, there's got to be a better way to do this. And 20 years later, he comes up with the idea of the container ship and invests in it and, and changes our world. You know, uh, as you mentioned, uh, that gr great book by Mark Levinson, The Box, and then his follow-on book, uh, beyond the box, really talks about how we have changed global shipping since the end of World War II.